So for question four, we've got the balanced reaction. We know the rate of consumption of ammonia is negative 1.4 times 10 to the minus five molar per second. The rate of production of water relative to that. So we know one fourth the rate of ammonia is going to equal one sixth the rate of water. The other way we looked at it in class was also this, that the rate of ammonia, and this is essentially what we're doing, we just use those molar coefficients to say, okay, for every you know four ammonia, I'm gonna make six water molecules. So either of those calculations will work. So the rate of ammonia, 1.4 times 10 to the minus five molar per second, multiply that by six over four, right? The ammonia cancels out, ammonia cancels out. And 1.4 times 10 to the minus five times six over four, I get about 2.1 times 10 to the minus five molar per second for water. Let's see if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense because our coefficient of water is six. So that means it should have a higher rate. We go from 1.4 times 10 to the minus five to 2.1. So it's, it is a little bit higher um, rate. So either one of these calculations would work. This is the way we did it in class. Um, you know, basically using those coefficients. This is the way they set it up in the textbook. But then I think it was Aaron or someone else in class asked, you know, couldn't we just use those molar coefficients? And that's also correct. Just using those molar coefficients to find the rate of water relative to the rate of ammonia. It's gonna work as well because that's what we're doing. We're just trying to set this equal to each other because we know four moles of this go in, six moles of water come out at the same time. So that's a different rate. Um, so we're just trying to compare those two rates. Well, four to six is our ratio because four to six, those are our coefficients for the two molecules that we're comparing the rates of. So I just wanna clear something up. So that, that's positive because that's a product. So that'd be positive. But like the question before it's asking the also rate of consumption. So that, that would be negative. Yeah, exactly. So if it's asking um, about ammonia or oxygen, those are negative because they're disappearing from the reaction because rate is change in concentration over change in time. So um, ammonia concentration would be decreasing. Oxygen concentration would be decreasing. So as a result, their rates would be negative. Nitric oxide and water, they're being produced. So their concentrations are going up. So that would be a positive um, rate. And then average rate or overall rate of the reaction would also always be a positive value because you're just talking about the reaction in general, the reaction as a whole, and not just one specific molecule in that reaction. So yes, if it was oxygen or ammonia, it should be negative. If it's nitric oxide or water, it should be a positive value because it's being formed in the reaction. And then I, I think uh, I think I joined 